tell that it's the one closest to the door to the shop. Here's our piece of wood. Um, to adjust the guard, you have to turn this knob back here to loosen it. Turn it to the left to loosen. And then you see this big knob here. We're going to turn that to lower and raise the guard. You want it to be a pencil's length above the wood, so you want to lay your wood. So this is the second bandsaw near the other door of the shop and the chop saw. So the difference between this machine and the other machine is the start button and the adjusting the grip. So this green button here in the center of the red, that is the start button. See how that's moving? To stop the blade, you want to press this. This is the red barrier around the green. Push that. And when you do, it will stop the blade. So after the blade decelerates, you want to adjust the guard. And that's the same way you would on the other machine. You turn the knob to the left to loosen. And then you turn this big wheel here. And now lift and raise the guard as you can see. Again, you want it to be a pencil's length above the wood, so lay it against it. And when you do that, you'll have everything set up and good to go. And that's the only difference between the second machine and the first machine down there. Next we're going to cut a corner out of the piece of wood by going in and then up and back. So, so to do that, you will cut out a corner and that's what you would use. Do not try and be fancy and try to cut it in and then up. That's going to break the blade. You have to be very careful. Go in, back, up, back. Alright, so first we're going to do a quarter cut, you're going to go up, and then you're going to go back, and you're going to go to the side, and go up, back, you're going to meet in this little area right here, and that's going to pop the corner right out. Okay. Alright, next we're going to cut a V-shape of our big piece of wood. To do that, we're going to go in at a diagonal out, in at a diagonal out, intersecting at one point. So next we're going to do a V-shape, which is a diagonal here, and then you take that out, and then you do a diagonal here, and again, point the blade back so that he doesn't stay in there. They're going to meet in this little point here, and that's going to pop the V out, giving you a triangular piece and a V inside the wood. Alright, so we're going to cut a square out. We're going to have it go up, back, up, back, diagonal across. Where that hole is made, there's going to, the blade's going to fit in like a puzzle piece and go straight like a line. Alright, let's get started. Alright, next is a square cutout, which is where we're going to cut out a square outside the corner. So first you're going to go up, and then you're going to go back, and then you're going to go up, and then you're going to go back. And then you're going to do a diagonal from what from the bottom of one side to the top of the other line. And that's going to cut this whole piece here out, and inside of that the blade's going to rest here, and it's going to go straight across, and pop this piece out, and you get your square. So we're going to cut an arch straight out, shape out, with guidelines, and then following that guideline into a circular shape. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we make our guidelines. 
Next we're gonna do an arc. And that arcs because you can't just cut across like this because that's gonna break the blade. So you gotta do guiding lines like this on the inside. So that way you get this little kind of like a whale's mouth. And you're gonna cut these lines first, going up and back, up and back, up and back, up and back, and up and back. You're gonna do your best to follow across, stopping at each one so that the blade can rest, and then going to the next one.